Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Naresh Technologies. In today's video, we I am going to discuss about cursor called for loop cursor. So, what is for loop cursor and what is the importance of for loop cursor? Now, so in PLSQL, we use cursors for uh, processing row by row. So, I want to implement row by row processing in PLSQL, then I use a cursor. So, I will fetch the records from database and store the records in cursor and fetch one by one record from cursor. Okay. So, if you want to implement row by row processing, then we use cursor and so fetch one by one record from cursor and process the records in PLSQL program. So, to use cursor, you need to follow some steps. So, one is first you need to declare and you need to open and you need to fetch and you need to close. Like for example, so this is one PLSQL program. In this PLSQL program, what I am doing is I am using a cursor. So, in this program, I, I want to print each and every employee name and salary. So, what I am doing is I am taking a cursor the select what start from EMP. So, then I am taking a variable and variable is of row type variable. So, what can be stored in R? A record. A record belongs to which table? EMP table. Next, open the cursor. When you open cursor, the select statement is executed and the select statement output is stored in cursor C1. The select is executed and the select statement is opened in uh, select statement output is stored in cursor C1. So, after storing the data in cursor C1, so what we are doing is fetching the record, fetching the one by one record from cursor and storing the record into vari variable R, next checking whether fetch is successful or not because the statements are inside a loop. So, like this condition, it, it check this condition, if this condition false loop is continued and condition true loop terminates. Okay. Then first time fetch statement fetches first record. Suppose say C1 percent is not found is false. If fetch is successful, C1 percent is not found returns false. When, when condition false loop continues, what we are doing is printing the name and salary. Next, when fetch statement fetches second record and check the condition false loop continues print second employee name and salary and first statement fetches R record. So, this is continued uh, till it uh, reaches end of the table, end of the cursor. Suppose assume the cursor contains 14 records and the loop executes 14 times and first statement fetches 15th record, but 15th record is not there. Then fetch first statement fails. When first statement fails, C1 percent is not found returns what true when returns true and the loop terminates and cursor is closed. So, these are the steps you need to follow if you want to use cursor in your PLSQL program. So, first what you need to declare the cursor, you need to open, you need to fetch, you need to close. Okay. Then, so in this example, what we are using is we are using simple loop. So, what this loop is called? This loop is simple loop. But one more loop is there. So, what is that loop is called? For loop cursor. Okay. What is that loop is called? That loop is called for loop cursor. Then, or cursor for loop. Then, so here, what is the syntax of this cursor for loop is for some variable in cursor name. Next, loop statements and loop. Okay for variable in cursor name loop statements and loop. So, this is the syntax of cursor for loop then. So, for example, assume uh, cursor name is C1 for R in C1 loop statements and loop. Assume cursor name is C1 for R in C1 loop statements and loop then. So, what is the advantage of this cursor for loop? The advantage of this cursor for loop is opening is not required, fetching is not required, closing is not required. No need to open, 
no need to fetch, no need to close and all these operations are performed implicitly then. So that is what the advantage of this for loop cursor. Otherwise, if you will use simple loop and while loop, you need to open, you need to fetch, you need to close. But if you use this loop, so no need to open, no need to fetch, no need to close. Then, so first time this for loop starts, the cursor opens automatically and first time this for loop executes, the first record is fetched from C1 and the first record is assigned to R and the statements are executed. And the second time this loop runs, second record is fetched from C1 and assigned to R. And third time this loop runs, third record is fetched from C1 assigned to R. So every time this loop runs, one record is fetched from C1 and the record is assigned to R. Okay. And what is R is? R is called loop variable and this loop variable is also declared implicitly as row type. So R is called loop variable and this loop variable is also declared implicitly as row type. Even we do not need to declare this R also. Now, so let us let us see one program, let us see one example with for loop cursor. So let us go to this, here in this example, same example, but in this example, so I do not use simple loop, I use for loop cursor. Now, so I am removing this, all the statements not required, then next, even we do not need this variable also. So remove this variable. Then for R in for R in C1 loop, so execute the statements dbms output dot put underscore line r dot e name next space r dot salary. Now n close. Okay. See this. So using cursor is simplified with the help of for loop cursor in PLSQL programs. Now you declare the cursor, so cursor is declared with a select statement, select start from EMP, next and for loop. So I have not opened, I am not fetching, I am not closing, so because it is done implicitly. And first time this for loop executes, the first record is fetched from C1 and the first record is assigned to loop variable R. So and what I am doing is, I am printing the employee name and salary because what is R is, R is a variable, it is declared implicitly and it is declared as row type variable and it is declared as row type. So R is a row type variable. So then how to access the values from the row type variable, row type variable dot field name. So that is why I am saying R dot E name and R dot sal. And second time this loop runs, second record is fetched from C1 assigned to R printing the name and salary. And third time this loop runs, third record is fetched, assigned to R, printing the name and salary like this. So this is continued how many times depends on number of records are there in C1. If the C1 contains uh, uh, 14 records, loop executes 14 times. If the C1 contains 20 rows and the loop executes 20 times. So then once this for loop execution is completed, then end. So but we are not closing the cursor because it is implicitly closed implicitly opens, implicitly fetched, implicitly closed. Then. So let me run this program set. So before running the program, I am setting the server output on. So it is printing all the employee names and salaries. Okay. So Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe to Narayshati.